All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. But first, what's up, all of my gym stars? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Coming to you live with another video, man. Hey, listen, listen. You interested in any type of custom type of uh, stuff like this, you know? Hey, we got the Minnesota MSP, you know what I'm talking about? Any team, anything y'all want, holler at me on the gram. Or uh, either the gram or um, Twitter. Rigo, I got you, my boy. I got you. Finally got my stuff all in order. But this ain't what y'all came here for, man. Let me give y'all what y'all came here for. I have located the best jump shot for big men in this game. This jump shot is literally the ugliest jump shot in the world but it goes in i was playing earlier with t and i put it on i had made two jump shots last night i thought i was shooting the first one right because i thought i was gonna shoot i was shooting with jump shot 38 but it was this is with the second jump shot that i made and i was like bro this joint this joint ugly t said bro it don't matter how it look as long as we looking at it go in and i said you know what brother you right you right so we played a game early. Like I said, 500 likes, I'm going to release the jump shot, man. But I'm going to show y'all a game that we played, man, just to show y'all that this is legit. If y'all want me to put it out, all that good stuff. This is also the best big man build, best badges, all that good stuff, man. Look, this dude right here is damn near broken. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to show you a little gameplay right quick, and then we're going to go from there. But anyway, like I said, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into the meat and potatoes first of all with this jump shot you're gonna have to have on these shooting badges at least oh uh, look bro let me show y'all how i've been grinding bro i only got 37 games played with this dude <laughs> i got two badges left you tell me i ain't the best badge grinder out there man no glitch so right now this is what we got we got catch and shoot on goal corner specialist on goal I got to have a quick draw on gold with this jump shot. You could use it on silver because you can get it off. I was using it on silver in the gameplay, so that's why it's going to look a little bit different. Uh, Dead Eye, I'm probably going to leave that on silver because that's been doing me fine. You can shoot over those in this game if you didn't know. Uh, hot Zone Hunter, we're going to do. We, we gonna put that probably on silver once I get some hot zones. Range Extender, got to leave it on Hall of Fame. But just in case y'all didn't know, shoot over those is back in the game. A lot of people just afraid to take the shots with their big man or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Breezy back in the back. Breezy in the background, holding the chat down, hating as usual. Hating, we call her, we, we, we like to refer to Breezy as hating Manny. What? Hating Manny. But anyway, like I said, man, once you get used to the little hitch in the shot, really what you do, once you see him, um, you can look at you can look at one or two things. Like right here, I look at the elbow, once you get the triangle, or you can look at it right when it touches the top of his head, and that's when you want to let it go. Or, you know, it touches the top of his head, you wait, uh, not even a smidge in just a hair, and then you're going to let it go. It's going to go in a lot for big men. But anyway, y'all don't want to see it right here, man. We're going to get to a little gameplay. And I'm just going to talk over this joint on why I feel like this is the best center build and why I feel like this is the best jump shot combination. Because like I said, it's definitely ugly as hell, but this is the best center build in the game right now just because of the fact that when you're playing, my, my definition of a center right now is this. I feel like as a center, most centers shortcoming in this game is what? Perimeter defense. A lot of centers don't have perimeter defense in their game. This dude is 6'11". I got 70 speed right now. Once I get to 99, I have like 75 speed. Look, I mean, obviously these guys are not the best, but hey, he came out here, so it is what it is. Um, I'm gonna have 70 speed when it's all said and done. I'm gonna have like, I mean, 75 speed, 75 acceleration, a 75 three rating. I'm gonna have, I mean, I'm gonna be very comfortable in what I wanna do. But what I feel like the meta of the game is right now, I feel like ISO is back. I feel like I got, look, I got Hall of Fame. Uh, look, as long as I can stop that right there, I'm good. But I, I got Hall of Fame badges for defense inside. I'll show y'all those in a minute. But I really feel like the meta of the game is stop the paint bashing. If you can stop paint mashing, 
set a good screen, and hit a wide open jump shot as a center. That's all we really need you to do. Look at him kick it to me. Trades up, Green Bean Money Team, splash down. He thought he was going to get there. He ain't getting there. Even like I said, it don't matter how it look as long as you look at it go in, baby. That's all that matters. And I'm already playing with one of the best guards in the game, T. Mizzle. And uh, that's my dog right there. Look, obviously he going to hit that 11% cover. I tried to stop the guy on the perimeter. But like I said, I feel like the best thing in this game to do, if you can do this right here, set a good screen. He missed that. That was a good screen. He read the screen wrong. Set a good screen, get boards, and protect the paint. And then hitting the jump shot is the bonus. That's why I feel like an outside center, the way that I made it. My interior defense is like 90-95 or something like that. My strength is 90-95. I'm not going to get bullied. Some of the, um, if you play with the rebounding wings and stuff like that, we already talked about this earlier. You, you might get bullied you might not get bullied. But my only real weakness is scoring inside, and that's only because I don't have on just yet. I don't have on my um tray. Oh, I didn't get a chance to shoot that. The um the only thing is I don't have on my post fade yet. Once I get my post fade, it's gonna be ugly. And the post fade goes up to like um goes up to like 80. So really, with this guy right here. Look at the interior defense. He know he can't go up on me. Obviously, he 80 overall. Now, don't get me wrong. You're going to get dunked on sometimes. But with Hall of Fame Intimidator and, and gold um, and gold rim protector, I think I got on silver right here. I think I'm going to put it up to gold because some people were able to bully me a little bit more than I liked. But Hall of Fame rim protector, um, I mean, Hall of Fame Intimidator, silver chase down artist, and silver... Um, and silver chase, I mean, silver chase down our silver rim protector and Hall of Fame uh, Intimidator. There's not gonna be many people that can just button press and go up over you. The only way that they can really do it is if they don't pay attention at all. Like, cause you got some people out there that just don't care. They just gonna go up. And if they if they try to paint mash and just go inside and do that stuff, hey, it's just gonna happen. But the biggest thing about this guy is I gambled on putting perimeter defense on this build because I wanted to be able to switch off on the guards and then I doubled down, I tripled down on it and I put clamps on it. I think I got clamps on like gold or something like that. The reason that I did that is I don't want guards to be able to turn that corner and just turn the corner for me on free. And also I put the perimeter defense up because I see so many centers that didn't put any perimeter defense in the game. This was this was this is one of the advantages to me waiting to make this guy. Let's say if I go against a slasher and I got clamps on. Give me that steal. I go against a slasher and I got clamps on. I can, I can stand back on that slasher, and once he gets that head start, I step over, Clamps kicks in, he don't have enough dribbling, I got too much strength, he's going to pick the ball up, and then when he tries to just go up, I put my hands up, and the, my perimeter defense, plus my interior defense, plus Clamps, plus rim protector, plus all of the badges that I got, they're gonna make him miss the shot automatically. So like when somebody hands somebody off to me or whatever, they know they can't do that. Look at me, step across. My clamps didn't kick in, but look, he tried to shoot that. You can't, bro, you can't shoot that. Now, look, 100% smothered all that good stuff. Look, we ain't worried about that. The thing that we worried the most about, I know y'all worried about the jump shot. I'm going to get some more shot shooting going on in a minute. I just wanted to talk about this being the best center build in the game right now. Maybe you could do 6'10", but I just felt like 6'11", I didn't want to get bullied. And at the same time, I knew that if I went against a 7'3", or something like that, look at that, mid-range game on flick. Money, shoot that money ball like Steve Kirk has. I got the personal reserves. I got this. I just felt like, um, you know, with the four inch difference, I didn't need to be 16 because I got John Slayer on. Because I have John Slayer on, if I need to score inside, I'll be able to score inside. It'll be, it'll be pretty easy. But this guy's job is not to do any of that. His job is to do exactly what I said: play inside, cut off drives make contact, slow people down, switch on to the guard when I need to. Like right there, I can switch on, I can, I can switch on to a guard with confidence as long as he don't try to dance too much and cook me. But just by the way that the game is, the way that the game is, by the time the guard gets to me, he's probably gonna have half stamina anyway. And if he only got half stamina or something like that, look, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, trying to hold that for him, but I ain't know if he wanted me to hold the screen for him. That guy's playing down low. You're too late, Trey's up! Splash down. It's too late to apologize. That's that one Republic right there, boy. Y'all didn't go to the, y'all didn't go to none of them. Woo, Trey's up! We shoot over those! Bro! We shoot over those! I'm telling you, it's back in the game. Shoot over those! It's in the game, especially when it's a center. Look at this, y'all thinking, eh, it's too slow. You're not gonna be able to get it off. 
Look, as a center, most of the time, you're going to be wide open. Shoot over those green bean money team. Trades up, splash down. But like I said, though, man, this is my job right here. Hit blast-ass open jump shots. He's not going to be able to take that shot. Look, intimidate. Look at that. Hold on. I want y'all to see this in a second. Did my intimidator kick in? I think it did. No? No? Okay, I wasn't close enough to him. Hold on. We're going to see. We're going to see. Let me see. All my badges was popping. Boom, my badges. I'm able to, what? Okay, I didn't contest that. But I'm able to go down here and get the board nonetheless. Hall of Fame rebound chaser. Maybe I don't even need it up that high. Rack City, you got one of the best guards in the game. T. Mizzle taking it to Rack City. People try to say T. Mizzle was ass and stuff. We were whooping so much ass last night. We beat a lot of comp ass last night too with this center bill. And my boy Nino, bro, I got to put out the bill, the video for the best lineup in the game and show y'all how that works, man. The best lineup in the game right now is this center, a slashing playmaker that can shoot the ball if he can shoot, and a rebounding wing. You got one of those, man. You got that combination. You gonna whoop a lot of butt. You gonna whoop a lot of ass out here, boy. And, and let me tell you why. Because the rebounding wing can switch on to the center with relative, with relative confidence, meaning that when he switches on to the center, the center not just gonna bully him every time. You understand? The center has to actually think about if a guard switch on to the center, they're gonna give to the center and the center gonna roll and whatever. You got a rebounding wing on this center, bro. He gonna have to think about it. And then right here, you know, T try to uh, T try to end the game on the kill. They hold him a little bit. Look at me down here. I ain't, I'm not even gonna worry about it. They, they, I don't know why they made me run out there and then he gets the board. I think he hit that shot. Nope, big board. I got takeover. Now you know the game over. We both got takeover. But the whole point of the thing, the thing is, like I said, that rebounding wing that can shoot, this shooting center, and a playmaking slasher, bro, you gotta make decisions. Trades up, Green Bean Money Team! Skip to the loo, my darling. Look at that. You got, a, imagine if we had a had, imagine, and I, I went four for four, T went six for seven. Look, you can't stop T going to the rim. This is why I feel like that combination is so good. You can't stop T going to the rim, right? Not one-on-one -on -one in the ISO situation, so once they start helping and committing down, so that's a guarantee too for us every time if your guy is aggressive and can score, and if they bag down, he can shoot the ball. But look at this. They literally got to put two people in the paint because there's nothing that they can do. So all T going to do is suck him up, kick it out to me, trays up, splash down. And it's good money. That's good money every time. That's why I feel like, but the biggest thing is on offense, I mean on defense, when the other team is on offense, I feel like it's so good because... Me, me and Nino, Nino shoot like a, uh, to be real, Hollywood, Nino shoots like a, uh, shoot like a guard. I mean, he shoots, he shoots like a shark. He really don't miss. As long as I'm hitting my shots and stuff like that, it will, you know, once I can get back acclimated. As long as I'm hitting my shots when I'm wide open and Nino hitting his shots and then you got your boy T, uh, going to the rim, it's going to be, that's going to be hard to deal with, man, because we can get three almost on the man. Like, at, T going to ISO and get two damn near every time and even if he want and if he wants to if it's, if it's getting hard he can always call for a screen we can wait for a good screen and then he can um he can come out there and shoot a three or he can kick it to me we can run a screen and pop and i can shoot a three we can run a screen and roll and i can go to the rim and uh the, you know the guy can't you know the center gonna be too slow to really keep up with me he's not gonna be able to stop me so many options that you get when you run that rebounding wing and a center like this but the main thing is you can run two rebounding wings and that's going to be tough too because they, they can switch off on the center as well. Only thing is, I've, I've just been seeing rebounding wings get bullied lately if the center just wants to bully them. So, you know, I just feel like this is good because I can put on clamps. Uh, let me show you. Let me show you what I got, man. Uh, like I said, 500 likes, I'm going to put that jump shot out there, man. But look, these are my badges right here. I felt, I felt like this is one of the best things. What I might end up doing is this. Or I might do this, put clamps on silver and put rim protector on gold. I found that I don't need box on Hall of Fame. Um, you do need rebound and chase on Hall of Fame. I don't even set screens. I probably don't need brick wall on Hall of Fame. I don't need worm. Um, so what I might end up doing is doing something like this. Do it like this since I don't set screens that much. But like I said, even something like this is gonna look good, man. You, you, it's, it's right now. Gold Clamps is doing it for me. I'm going to test. I'm going to test putting this down to here and doing this just to see how that goes. But I'm telling you, man, the badge, the this badge setup right here is dope as hell because if I need to set screens, I can. 
I'm intimidating everything. You can't really score inside on me. I can chase stuff down, and I'm getting boards. And if the, if I have to switch on to the guard, I can hold him for three steps. If he step back and try to cook me, I'm dead. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all about that. But anyway, man, that's all I got for y'all, man. Like I said, I'm going to put the jump shot out there uh tomorrow can i get 500 like bro i give y'all so much knowledge in this game also if you're a center hey stop don't don't try to fight it on the first one let let the game make the first move for you when you're playing defense just be cool because you're not fast enough to really catch up or do anything yourself anyway so that's just as a tip uh from me to you and i'm gonna show y'all some other stuff on how to play this game man but like i said bro this is the best jump shot in the game if you're a center and you are um, and you got a low a low uh you know a low a low shot rate i think my shot rating right now is like a 70 i'll show y'all that too right quick and then i'm gonna get up out of here but i hope y'all enjoyed this video man and uh like i said i don't think 500 likes is too much to ask for my secret jump shot hey i got off and i said okay t i made two jump shots last night let me try the other jump shot Boy, i think i went i missed i missed them shots in this game t said hey put that bitch back on Whatever you do, get off the spot right now and put the old, the other jump shot back on that you just went four for four with. Because, you know, we always looking for perfection, man. But sometimes you are... Look at that. I can hit from damn near half court with this thing from beyond limitless range with this jump. I'm probably going to miss that one. But, you know, with this jump shot, I, I know I can hit it, though, because I got my... There we go. Boom. Like, you can really catapult them things up there, man. And like I said, I don't think 500 likes is too much to ask for something like this and i know people gonna say well you're not gonna really be able to get it off in in comp and stuff like that but bro like i said they leave centers wide open you can you can have enough time and i i feel like once i put hall of fame on here it'll probably be a little bit better but anyway that's all i got for y'all man hope y'all enjoyed the video um if you like the video like the video subscribe for more daily 2k content and i'ma holler at y'all next time man i'm tripping out here let me let me shoot me a good green though we addicted to them we addicted to greens, man. Eat your greens. And uh, like I said, if you got a big man and you got some shooting, um, I will put this out tomorrow. 500 likes, man. And I'm out to y'all next time. Until next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Godspeed.